I love the folly of the holidays. I love playing around with all the enchanting elements that go along with it. And you know, you have this stash of stuff, right, that you've had for all these years. And you probably, more than likely, I'm guessing, because it happens to all of us, start putting your little vignettes together, doing things the way you've always done. Those wreaths go in those doors, and they're maybe even marked that way in your basement in the plastic bag you put them in. The front door wreaths, the back door wreaths, the pantry wreath. So anyway, I'm going to challenge you this year to take all of your goods and explore in a new way. You know, try them on in a different kind of way. Play around with a little bit more magic. You know, pretend for instance that you own some rickety old inn in the countryside in England and you've got all this stuff and you need to pull together all these beautiful vignettes because there are some people coming that want to be entertained and it's your job to make it magical. So that's kind of where I went when I created this vignette. I just wanted something that was just oozing with delicious enchantment. You know, something that was just fun and cool that you want to walk up to and you just kind of want to climb into. That to me is really going to strike a chord of wonderfulness for the holidays. And you know, that's what it's all about. It's playing and trying something new. So I've got this vignette and you know, you know, you're always seeing my house and I think it's fun for you to be able to see sort of the same rooms in my house and how I change them because I realize that you're not moving around either. You're dealing with the same house, the same furniture and all the same stuff. So my goal is always to try to take this stuff and play around with it in a new way. I did not run out and buy a whole bunch of new stuff. This is stuff that I have. And that's what's fun about it. It forces me to think about it in a different way. You know, this I pulled off of one of our chairs. I love the idea of different colors in Christmas. You know what I mean? Like really pretty pinks. And look at these gorgeous pops of green. It's not traditional in any way. And yet this whole thing still feels very, very holiday. It doesn't have to feel Christmas even. You might cel celebrate an entirely different holiday this season, which is wonderful. And you may want to decorate in a really cool way too. I love, again, big stacks of old books and then a Bowl that has nothing to do with the holidays at all and yet this yummy old candelabra with a little tinsel and a just a random ball of ornaments hanging off it it's so cool and you know one of the things I do every year at the holidays you probably do too you're done with all your holiday stuff and you know, you're just can't wait to rip it down and throw it in the boxes well of course I always have you know this kind of stuff you know what, what is this? You know, it always ends up back in the boxes because I don't feel like taking it apart at that point. But then, you know, I kind of, oh, this is so pretty. I love this. And then I just find, you know, a new little spot for it to just hang it around something. It probably came off of a package or something. I don't have any idea, but I love it. And I love that it's all bent up and crumpled and imperfect. And it's so pretty and enchanting and charming. That's the kind of stuff that I think adds that little bit of special to anything that you might be setting up. Lots of candles. I love finding these funky, kind of weird, junky candles at craft store and stuff. They're usually not that expensive. They almost are, they're oddball to me, but I love them in the mix because they are oddball and they, they, they add that additional layer. Um, and I love, you know, again, a little bit of nature is always so pretty. I always will go outside and snip a little nature here and there and add it in because I just think it sort of softens everything. Textiles and nature and candles will always help soften anything that you're doing. If you're ever feeling like, where am I going with this thing? Get your clippers out, get outside, start clipping some stuff, bring it in, put it in your vignette. And I swear, all of a sudden the whole thing is going to really come together. Nature has a way of doing that. And you know, this is just an old mirror frame, which is kind of cool. I just set it up. It was actually in my hall closet. Just set it up and um, again, you know, a couple of wreaths hanging off it, you know, a few little, you know, glittered deer, some sparkle here and there. And before you know it, you'll find yourself with, you know, your mounds of Christmassy holiday stuff in your big boxes and, you know, pluck little things out and use other things that you have that aren't even holiday like you're going to create the coolest setting and you're going to be that much more excited because it's going to be enchanting and magical. You're going to have little holiday explosions all over your house, just like I do. 